Kamusta kayo lahat? Welcome to this episode of Pinoy Bounce. And for this episode, we wanted to dedicate this to commemorate somebody who we just lost recently from the basketball community. One of the greats ever played the game, uh, Kobe Bryant, and to the families and also his daughter, Gigi. Our condolences. So this is our episode dedicated for you guys. And our special guest here, we got Ingrid on my, you know, uh, and we also have friends and uh, Adam from any stock company here to talk and talk a little bit about where um, the feelings and the reactions that we had when this happened. So guys, tell us a little bit about on your end, how did you guys felt when this happened? What was your reaction when you guys first heard about the news? Um, at first, I didn't want to believe it. I think I was just making my way to work and then, you know, I got a text message just like saying Kobe. I'm like, okay, well, Kobe what? I'm like, Kobe passed away, like he died. I'm like, what? Like, nah, like it can't be or whatever. He's like, yeah, look it up online and stuff. I was just like, so I go online. First source of it was like TMZ. Like I couldn't, I didn't want to believe TMZ since it was all that tabloid kind of, you know, Hollywood stuff. So I was just like, nah, I don't believe it. Like this ca there has to be a joke kind of thing until like, you see it on Wikipedia already. It was like January 26, 2020 was the day that he passed away. I'm just like, it's already updated. Like, there's no way. I couldn't believe it. What for you guys? I was actually coming up, well, coming back from Collingwood. <coughs> uh, I was like, I went snowboarding for the weekend and uh, I saw like my uh, message, like uh, my group chat went off with a, like a link to, and the headline was like, Kobe died. <laughs> I was like, what? And I couldn't read it. So I yeah. uh, asked my wife, she was, she was in the passenger seat, I'm like, oh, can you read this article for me? And then she was kind of explaining about how like it happened. He was like on his way to like the Mamba Academy and like nine people died. And it was just kind of like in shock. I was like, I felt like there was like a void <laughs> for like the entire day. I didn't really know how to explain it. It's like someone with that type of impact in the world is just kind of... Shuts the whole world down. Yeah. Not just the NBA world, but yeah. just like all over the world. Yeah, um, yeah, I was in Mississauga. <clears throat> I was at a uh, convention at that time. Uh, yeah, I was just checking my phone and, uh, you know, the worst, the worst thing uh, I saw on social media, you know, Kobe uh, passed away. I couldn't believe it at first, uh, but I knew the, the sources that I've been uh, looking at uh, looks pretty legit, so... Um, you know, at first it didn't hit me um, until the next day and the second day uh, where you see NBA players, you know, media um, talk about Kobe, talk about his, uh, his life, his, um, you know, things that he done. And, um, you know, especially his daughter, uh, that's when it hit me. It's like, we'll never see this guy again. No more interviews. Um, he can't even do his Hall of Fame speech anymore. Um, it's heartbreaking and uh, not being able to see his daughter, you know, fulfill her potential. Uh, that was really heartbreaking. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what really broke my heart as well is just that it was not only Gigi, but two of her, of her other teammates that were also in that helicopter that like had gone to that crash. So it was just like, you know, young girl's potential, you know, being that next name to follow the Bryant family because she was the one that like stood up for herself saying like, you know, my dad doesn't need a son to have a Kobe Jr. She's like, I'm going to be that Kobe Jr. Like, I'm going to be living up to that legacy in basketball. It's just like, we were able to see that potential. Like, she had the same handles. She had the same moves as her father and everything, too. Like, they compare their, the same plays, like, from the fadeaway to the, to the dribbling to, the, like, just everything from the, mid, from the mid range shots and stuff like that. She was, she was there. She had it. And she was, like, only 13 years old. So I feel like there's so much more for her. It's just so unfortunate to, they're not, we're like, we're unable to see that she could have been the next movement for the WNBA, you know, so many what ifs and, you know, major respect for uh, UConn for giving her that seat because that was her, her dream college to attend for playing basketball too. So just, I don't know, it's, it's difficult for, you know, the Bryan family, the other people, the other families there too. So it's just, I overall I'm just like speechless, like losing a husband and a child all in one day is probably the most heartbreaking thing I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah, it was very tough because um, Kobe, Kobe is about to be like, you know, the biggest advocate for, you know, um, 
women's sports. Um, you know, having you know his daughter, um, he was you know basically saying you know women can do can be you know more than what they are in the WNBA. They can be in the NBA. Actually, they can play in the NBA. They could be uh, so much more than their ceiling. So uh, you know, um, it's tough to see not being able to uh, see Kobe, you know, move forward with that. Um, and uh, yeah, like uh, like I said, um, the daughter and the others that perished is, is really tough. Mark, what about you? Um, I mean, I couldn't believe it at first. <laughs> it's it's hard when it's something that's totally shocking or it's it totally makes you kind of wonder like as much as we take life sometimes for granted it makes you realize like hey like you just got to be grateful with a lot of things that happen because you never know when your time is up and it could happen either through something like this tragic but there was something that reminded me a little bit of uh, there was an interview that happened with uh, Tracy McGrady where he mentioned that when they were kids when they were small one of the things that Kobe mentioned kind of jokingly, and this is not to paint any sort of negative image of, but Kobe said that when they were young and they were trying to make it to the league, uh, he said to, to T-Mac, like, he wanted to die young. He wanted to kind of be immortalized as, you know, he wanted to be one of the greats, but be immortalized as one of the icons and be remembered uh, and be seen as to have this much impact. and. I know T-Max said it in a jokingly manner that we were young. I'm pretty sure that has changed once he had kids. But the the fact that, you know, that's kind of what happened in, in the reaction, not just from the basketball community, but to the impact that is made to fans out there, to celebrities, to regular people who were never really a big fan of basketball nor a big fan of Kobe. There was something about his persona, his mentality, his his overall uh, aura, his overall presence as a, on and off the court was just something that you just couldn't put a word to it. But you know that everybody had some sort of connection or some sort of relation with how Kobe was as a player and as a as a human being, as a father. And he became an icon, and everybody knew every shot that you put up when you're playing basketball last minute. Any shot that you put up to a, car, a garbage can, like everybody said Kobe, and that will forever be permanent and that will forever mean something to everybody. And I hope that continues on with the next generation and I hope we pass that on because Kobe meant a lot, not just to the Staples Sanders, to the community, the basketball community, the NBA community, but to fans all over the globe. So, and again, this is our episode to end it off for this segment, but when we come back, I wanted to kind of talk more about these guys, about the memories that they liked or they remembered about how Kobe was as a player, some of the things that he did, and some of the memorable things that we could commemorate him with. So stay tuned, guys.